Now to a News Channel exclusive. Tonight we meet a Carpinteria man who is popular at local farmers markets. He is 92 and just became an author. News Channel reporter Tracy Lair has his story. People often make a point of stopping by to say hi at Rodney Chow's booth at local farmers markets. They also take photos with the Carpinteria rancher around town. After his success as an Army soldier scientist during the Korean War, a civil engineer, a developer, and a realtor, the 92-year-old can now add author to his list of accomplishments. What I did was I, I took some classes at the City College. Oh. Although Chow earned his master's from USC, he went to Santa Barbara City College to learn how to write his autobiography, entitled American as Apple Pie. That's what a co-worker called him years ago and he took it as a compliment. The reason why I named the book American as Apple Pie is because I want everyone to know that don't look at me like a, a different ethnic minority, look at me as an American. The cover photo is reminiscent of the famous American Gothic painting. I put that picture of me with a rake on it on a farm to show you that I'm just like you, I'm just another American. And, and what other way of saying it, except to say, American is apple pie. After being unfairly stereotyped or treated as an ethnic curiosity, Chow considered it a milestone. He is a fifth generation Californian. And my family has been here since 1812. Chow was born in San Francisco and grew up in Los Angeles, where his parents emerged from the Great Depression by selling fresh fish and later chicken. He is well aware of the hate crimes against Asians, but he doesn't dwell on it. When people first meet you, they see you as a different ethnic person, and they expect you to be a certain way, but I wanted to show them that, no, I'm just like you. Friendships helped him achieve his dreams when he faced prejudice. I wanted to show in my book is that it's, it's time for us to quit complaining. If you want to be anywhere, a success or whatever, especially with friends, you have to come out at least 50%. Oh yeah, there are two of them right up there. A tip from his late wife's tennis circle led them to this property. And there was a sort of a recession in land out here. So we came on and took a look at it. We saw the ocean in front, we saw the mountains behind, and we just said, we'll take it. They named it Bright Spring Ranch after the bright spring day his adopted granddaughter was found in a basket in China. He grew apples at first. Most of people say, well, you can't grow apples here. It's not cold enough. But I said, I've seen them in the backyards. And so I planted about four or 500 of the trees and uh, the galas and the Fujis. Want me to open the door? Yeah, I can do it. But he wasn't ready to truly retire. I became a realtor right about the same time. I was selling mainly in Oxnard and Ventura. He still keeps in touch with friends from school, the Army, and work. I think the most admirable thing um, that I feel about Rodney is that he's just a down-to-earth, simple, hard-working man. It's the same as everywhere. For some reason, they're drawn to Rodney. Yeah, I'm looking. He's a great guy. These days, he uses a makeshift walking stick. The, the flavor is just terrific. And he grows Kishu tangerines. <laughs> his hobbies include making jewelry out of petrified wood for his lady friends and staying healthy. It's a lady's pendant, you know, for her to wear over her neck like this, uh -huh. like this. And I don't smoke and I don't drink. But you might hear him cuss in Cantonese. And, uh, and I grew up in a mixed neighborhood where everybody learned how to cuss in everybody's language. <laughs> well, let's just say I enjoy a woman's company. So if you see him at the market, don't hesitate to say hello. In Carpinteria, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.